dude, PlayStation being sued? Oh yeah, leave a like, so comment. Uh huh. I just made a funny video watching funny YouTube. I don't know, some type of challenge. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, we watched the Puma video. I just filmed two today. I don't know the day. It's not the same day y'all watching, but a class action yeah, lawsuit has been filed against PlayStation for nearly six billion dollars. Six billion. They got. Alex they Neal. definitely got six billion. Now, I'm not what? Saul Goodman, but if I you know how start... much money that is? Six. He went six billion. You know what he could do. I'll do with that. Planting cocaine right now because this is a huge lawsuit that's gonna need a miracle to win. I think. Yeah. How much money here, PlayStation has? This lawsuit's got teeth, and they're coming at Sony's throat. Six billion. Bill oh my god. Oh my god. Billion. Barnacles. I mean, I give you so much money that way because you're not going to need no six billion. You don't need one billion. I get so much of that way. So much the way people need it. To you by you know, PlayStation you owe us dot co dot UK, Whoa. Which is a beautiful website name. Like, that's pretty aggressive. It reminds me of like a Roblox petition to get their V Bucks back or something. But this was a site where people would sign up who felt wronged by Sony. And Alex Neal is the class representative. Damn. On the site, there's a five-point breakdown that talks about why they're trying to steam PlayStation's ham. So the first point being that Sony has a near monopoly on the sale of digital games and add-on content. That doesn't make no sense. Store. One is making no Sony sense. Sony uses this dominance to enforce strict terms and conditions on game developers and publishers. No, I said a policy. My account got banned on some BS. Some BS, cause I post something in the community. You can't even, you can't even get in communities now. They took that off PlayStation. Why my account's still banned? Sure's. Makes no These sense. These terms allow Sony to set the price of digital games and in-game content and charge a 30% commission on every purchase of digital games and in-game content from the PlayStation Store. Damn. This results in excessive and unfair prices to consumers for the yeah. Games it was definitely a, it's definitely a lot less of games because of that. I would say instead of 20, bitch, y'all need that much money. Of Sony providing these services to its consumers. So basically they're saying that Sony has used its dominant position in the market to unfairly overcharge consumers. Now for reference, this was filed in the UK and a brand new PS5 game in the UK will cost you about 70 pounds, which is the equivalent to 82 US dollars. Yeah. So I do think they're getting they, fucked in the yeah, end right here. It's yeah. a, a, quite an overcharge if you ask That me. is 60 and is uh, too, I'd love too much. To see them win 60 is way too much. You know? Power to the players. Yeah, I'll be wild, wild on that, dude. But the more I read into it, the it's less confident I feel that they'll be able to Fortnite dance on the grave of Sony with this loss. Sony. I don't really think they're going to get it. They might call him Hitman. Let me just explain man. why hit I man? think that. Hit I'd love to be proven wrong. Like Some said, assassins on them. If they, if they do lose. this lawsuit because I do believe they're being overcharged. But I don't think they have the strongest case here. No, just looking they don't. at these first five points, Those the first don't one look just stands good. out as factually incorrect. They're yeah. claiming that Sony has a near monopoly on the sale of digital no. games and add-on content, which is just blatantly wrong. Yeah. I would slap you with a fat F on your report card if you submitted this. I thought he was going to say something else. Totally out of... Oh my. I thought he was going to say something. Totally, oh my. God. He was going to say something out of pocket. Like, that was just going to be... Oh, uh, totally out the blue. Like, oh my God, can you imagine? I, don't, I was going to say some stuff. I don't know what he's going to say. Like, that why, is just that not funny. true. There's Xbox, Nintendo, Steam. There's so many other digital games vendors out there. It's not just Sony. Now, if you're talking about PlayStation exclusives, then yes, Sony has a monopoly on the digital sale of the PlayStation exclusives. Mm -hmm. But if that is the claim, it needs to be a lot more clear because with the wording here, it just makes it sound like you think Sony is the only console to exist and the only platform for digital games. Which no. It isn't. The other thing There's that was lot. confusing my little reptile brain the was biggest, that 30% yeah. commission they mentioned. Mm -hmm. Talking about how the Sony it should be like 20, 30 cut of digital game and in-game purchase sales from the developers. That's not exclusive to just Sony. Xbox, Nintendo eShop, pretty much every digital game vendor has some kind of commission that they force. Yeah, which it's I get that. So but I was saying how much. Why they would target them specifically, yeah. since it's the industry norm. But I decided to spread the cheeks a little further, dig a bit deeper, and listen to what the UK consumers were saying. And it seems to be that in the competitors' shops, like the Nintendo eShop, for example... Mm -hmm. They adjust their prices so that way the conversion makes sense and they're not being overcharged. Like yeah. the new Nintendo Switch game is fifty pounds, which when converted to like US dollars is about what we're paying in the States. However, when it comes to the PlayStation Store, 
that's not the case. So Damn. a new PlayStation yeah. 5 game in the States is $70, and in the UK, it's £70. However, that converts to a lot more. That's $82 yeah. US dollars. They are just blatantly paying more. Instead of yeah. adjusting that price down to like it's, 60 pounds or whatever. But all when you when you exchange money like that, isn't it's, it's it comes out kind of odd at that, but they I don't just know. keep it at that 70 and thus they're being overcharged. At least that's what I was reading from the UK consumers, which again, at the end of the day, it's blatantly obvious that they are paying a lot more for games than we are in the States. And yeah. I totally do agree that it is a ripoff. And Alex, Nick, it is because I will get that if they balance, if they change money, it will be equal. So it's not it's some not, joke so. of a lawsuit that was haphazardly thrown together by a faceless nobody. This mm -hmm. isn't like that situation on Twitch where that guy tried to sue. Oh my god, that was funny. That was funny. To Twitch for like a hundred million dollars because he couldn't stop watching female streams. I know. Yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was, I was funny. Oh man. Yeah. Streamers and ejaculating and he tried to blame oh. Twitch. Oh my god, that was an actual case that had me dying. Just delete Twitch. Get off Twitch. I don't say you could. Oh man. Oh, man. Porn addiction. Oh, man. This isn't that case. This is a real legitimate case that Alex Neal has put together. But I just don't Not that know bad. if it's focused enough to actually win. It seems way too generalized and broad. And you can look no further than their own website, where at the very end of these five points, they made this statement that just seems a bit misguided to me. This just seems like another desperate effort to throw something at the wall and see what sticks. The business model of gaming has changed dramatically over recent years. The move from games sold as physical discs to games sold digitally has seen the introduction of in-game content, where players must now also pay to progress, unlock more features, or customize their experience with new characters or weapons. That should not be no games point. Games are now designed to incentivize players to spend as much money as possible, including children. We that should that not be no are point. Too much for these digital products, and that they deserve to be treated better by Sony and compensated. Our legal action is the first of its kind against Sony in the UK. Now I am never not a fan point. of the "think of the children" argument. I don't see why they put this here. Yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't, don't give a fuck really about the kids. He be bullying them in game. For. This is talking about how predatory microtransactions have become the norm, which it have, is it's a huge issue. But, but that's not, not PlayStation. It's really about it's about Place being overcharged. By exactly, the PlayStation. PlayStation not good points. All games do that. Not even just PlayStation games. games that that, that doesn't. Children or like fucking massive dopamine hits, dopamine fiends. To spend more money is an issue, yes, but it's not the issue that you're really aiming yeah, at. Yeah, so you should be aiming at the crosshairs. PlayStation make you pay too much. And it's also that is the only Sony's point they have, though, actually. They're forcing all these developers to be yeah, greedy. They don't develop games like game. that. Like, let's say Diablo Immortals on PS5. Sony has no say-so in what way Who develop that game. Yeah. It's on their platform, sure. But it but was don't develop Blizzard it. that decided to put all of those terrible, terrible microtransactions in there. Yeah. That are preying on, you know, like Genshin Impact too. Problem or children. PlayStation ain't developing, not making Sony. that. Now, gotcha, not by PlayStation. PlayStation. Is too high? Then yes, I suppose there's a real argument to be made there that the price is still uh, too high. PlayStation has a say so net. Makes it sound like I guess it was so. Sony that decided to put all of those there when it wasn't. It wasn't their decision to have all of those predatory business practices baked into those games. That was the developers. Uh -huh. I just don't really get why it's mentioned here. Because let's say Sony brings the, the price down so that way the it's more fair across the board where... You know, if you're buying a microtransaction in a game in the UK, mm -hmm. it costs exactly the same as what it cost me to buy it in the States. That one? It still doesn't no. solve the core issue that you're bringing up here with the games being predatory, right? Yeah. Like this whole paragraph here is... All the points is not aligning. All his points really is... Greedy, it's too... It's like... And it's, part it's not a good Sony's point. It's kind of vague, degree, kind of? Which is why we believe no, you need to be connection. fairly. And we not believe you need to be treated better. This case is obviously but not going... What exactly do you mean? Again... Getting the price down on microtransactions doesn't solve the problem you just highlighted of them being greedy and intrusive. That's still going to exist. Even if you win mm -hmm. every single bit of this case, those microtransactions are still yeah, going to be there from the developers because it wasn't Sony that put them there. And just one last thing. In the press release, Neil wrote, The game is up for Sony PlayStation. With this legal action, I am standing up for the millions of UK people who have uh -huh. been unwittingly overcharged. We believe Sony has abused its position and ripped off its customers. Alex Neal hits us with an anime protagonist line saying, The game's up, Sony. I caught you with your pants down red-handed. It, it's time oh to face God. the music. And then in the press release, they also kind of frame it like the consumers didn't know they were being overcharged. 
But they I just did. don't know how true that they is. They still gonna buy the they game? They kind of hint that it's Sony's fault that the consumers didn't know they were being overcharged. Like Sony was doing underhanded business tactics. When I yeah, did. you could kind of say it though. They're just buying the game. They just think that's just a typical. But they could look it up and look into like see that it's they could change the exchange the money to like US money. I don't know if I believe and that see if it's Sony equal. doesn't really do anything besides just have a platform with a game and the price next to it. And you choose whether or not to buy it. Now mm -hmm. if you're not comparing that to the rest of the world's prices, then yeah, you would have no idea you're paying more than I am, for example. Yeah. But it's not like it was Sony that was doing anything to mislead them. At least not that I've ever seen. They just put the games on their service with how much they cost. It's just like shitty deals. They just post some bad deals. They're not scamming you because they're not making you now, buy it. You choose to buy it. So don't make no excuse. Like I scam. No, you got Australia, especially look stuff up. Don't just I am, settle. Which is fucked up because there's no reason for it. But I then they're paying more, and Australia especially is paying more Damn. than I am. Which is fucked up because there's no reason for it. But I don't think Sony has done anything to try and lead them down some false belief or anything. I think it's just a matter of they've How much been do they pay? more and no one's really been questioning it. So they haven't changed it. Yeah. And that's it. They haven't really you might change it now, though. kind of like propaganda to try and fool people into thinking that, you know, everyone's paying the same thing. Yeah. Because there was no need to. PlayStation is playing it safe. Well, they're not complaining about it, so we're just gonna leave it like that, and they're gonna buy it. So it's it's, it's on y'all. Just now, find guys doing this. And but now that people are waking up to them being exploited, they might it's change great it. That yeah. they're you know upset about it because I don't think it's right. I no. don't think they should be paying more for no reason. For if I make a, and then I think cars again, but I just don't really get like caught, go up like that'd be bad. Putting that onus on Sony, that it was you know them keeping people in the dark when it wasn't they, they they just put the games up and that was it but anyway yeah. overall i really do hope they win this class action lawsuit and hopefully the prices do change because like i said it's a whole bunch of baloney that you're paying significantly more money for the same game in the uk australia wherever else yeah it doesn't make any sense there's no reason for that so hopefully this does bring about positive change. Especially with outlandish, like you paying like uh, just to bring fifty bucks now. above how much you're supposed to pay. Yeah, that'll be out of hand. Yeah. I don't even say ten bucks, ten, fifteen bucks, too much. I would say like five bucks, not that bad. You paying five bucks what you're supposed to, not that bad. Ten bucks, kind of out of hand. Twenty, mm, stupid. But yeah, PlayStation being sued though, my head looking all fucked up. Oh, no, I need a coffee. But six billion? Is that much money? You think that's how much you just sue? That's definitely not gonna. They're gonna definitely like win this case. That's too much. I'll be like a little less. So they don't give as much. Like, they don't give a fuck like that. But billions? Oh, you know they're not playing with that. I would say millions. They still not playing with millions. But yeah. They definitely got it. But leave a like, sub, comment. I need some funny videos to watch. I need y'all to send me some. Yeah, peace.